Hey guys and gals, Watt here with AVT Astro and today as always I've got an interesting Astro topic for you guys. For those of you that might not be familiar, I run a little Astro blog called evt-astro.com and of course this YouTube channel so if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Over the last uh, 25 years or so I've had the privilege of owning over, over 100 scopes, more accessories than I could count. Alrighty guys, so let's get into the topic of this video backlash compensation now today as you can see behind me we are we have a um, next our 8sc setup uh, that's kind of you know uh, what i'm kind of working on right now really the same type of procedure applies to you know most mounts that are a go-to type of a mount uh, so you could kind of use it on them as well. The, the procedure is very similar. Alrighty, so what is backlash compensation? Well, I mean, there's it's pretty simple realistically. Um, with the mount, right, no matter how precisely that it's made, uh, and the next area you see it's, you know, this particular uh, setup here, a single fork arm, uh, it's always going to have, you know, some kind of... Um, you know, some kind of play essentially in the gears and just in the, you know, overall how it's machined. Chances are the higher end mount that you have, the less of that you're going to have to deal with, but all mounts, you know, kind of have that. So in this particular example, and you know, the, the especially these kind of mass produced scopes will kind of vary from scope to scope, you know, how much of this you're going to have to deal with. So in this axis and the azimuth axis, um, there really isn't very much play, but in the alt axis, you know, I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but you see you see that movement there? So there's a little bit of play. And the way they kind of usually tell that is, you know, like, especially when you're observing, you know, at night, like, you'll hit the, you know, the button to move the scope, right? And it kind of doesn't do anything for a while, you know, when you switch directions. Because, you know, all the slack and stuff like that has to be taken up by the gears. And the slower the movement speed, the longer that kind of takes. Uh, which is where backlash compensation comes in. Alrighty, so I got the garage door open so that we could do the procedure. But anyway, so the way that you get into the um, anti-backlash compensation settings on this particular mount, and it'll be similar for most of these, is that you'll hit the menu button here. And then uh, here you'll want to scroll to scope setup, I believe. And then, I'm not sure if it's the first option or if I just set it to that already, but anyway, it's in that sub menu. So you go to anti-backlash compensation. Now, different mounts will do this differently on the Nexter 8SC. This is uh, the way that it does it. Basically, there's actually four different settings that you're, you know, you got to set in there, right? So there's the um, azimuth positive, azimuth negative, alt positive, and alt negative. Um, so essentially, you know, you've got two axes on the scope. Obviously, this is the alt axis, you know, the one that goes up and down. The azimuth axis kind of, you know, goes side to side. Um, they do have two settings that are positive and a negative. Um, for the most part, what you're going to do is you're going to set uh, each axis, you know, to the same number. Now, I've already done this on the scope, so I know which values that we're going to end up. But let me kind of show you the procedure that you want to use, though. Um, so, you know, to kind of help you out basically so let me turn on maybe possibly okay here we go so we've got the um cybon 205 camera going on here and then this is a live view through the telescope and goodness gracious that's moving fast okay so I'm trying to get the trees in the field of view for you guys. Okay, there we go. So, you know, you could be looking at really at anything. It doesn't really matter. What you're looking for realistically isn't per se, you know, something to be like really centered. You're just looking to see what the delay is from when you press the key to when the object moves in the field of view. All right, so now um, I'm going to set the uh, motor speed to, let's see, let's do six, okay? So the backlash compensation, I reset it back to the factory, which is zero for everything, okay? So I'm going to press the side button, right, you know, for to move the um, azimuth axis, that's these keys here. Now watch when I press the key to when the screen actually starts to move. Okay, so that moves pretty much instantly, right? So now I'm gonna go the opposite direction. We're gonna see how quick it is. Okay, so a little bit of a delay, but really this is, I think, pretty typical, you know, 
of uh, you know like one of these next pairs so pretty quick now let's do the uh, the other the alt axis okay so now watch so I'm pressing up right okay moves pretty quick and now I'm pressing down so there is a good I don't know like two second delay and that's at speed six again the slower that you go the longer that delay will be Okay, so now, um, so basically I know, you know, at this point that this axis is pretty quick. Uh, so we're going to concentrate on this axis, you know, for the purpose of this video. Uh, so I'm going to scroll to uh, alt positive and alt negative, right? And then when you get into the setting here, it'll ask you for a value basically, right? Um, and the higher the value, basically the more uh, the motor will, you know, basically preload those gears and stuff. Um, to you know to to where basically you won't have to wait as long for the scope to actually start moving So let's start, you know, I just change it to you know, like, you know, some kind of a value. Let's start with 20 just to kind of uh, See what kind of difference that makes. I guess um again, I've got this so I'm pressing up Okay, so still, you know a little bit of a delay Pressing down so still a little bit of a delay Okay, so now uh, and actually, I, I forgot to do the negative value, so let's do, but um, we saw that it wasn't instant though, so let's go up to 40 on this one. And then for the negative, for the alt axis, I'm going to do 40 as well. These values should be the same, uh, both directions. I'm not really sure in which situation it would be different, but... Alright, so now we're at 40, so let's try it again. So I'm going down, instant, so that was preloaded that way already. So I'm going back up. Okay, so pretty quick, right? So like... And then I don't know if the camera is picking it up, the microphone, but when I press the directions, listen for the motor. You hear it rev up a little bit? That's the backlash compensation. All right, so... Like I said, I've already done this, so not to make this video like 19 hours long. Let's set it to the actual value that I kind of arrived at, which is 52, which I thought was pretty, pretty perfect. So let's set it 52 both ways. All right, let's check out the screen. Okay, so I've got the keypad here, so pressing down, instant, pressing up, instant, down, up. Look at that. Done. Alrighty guys and gals, so hopefully you guys found that useful, but basically I'm in mean, backlash compensation again. What it does is it kind of revs up the motor real quick to kind of take up the give in your gears and like that whole, you know, drive train base that your telescope uses. So essentially, you know, it's kind of just trial and error to figure out, you know, what the right number is. Uh, you know, you could do it for both axes. I had to adjust it a little bit for both axes. The alt axis was, you needed it about twice the adjustment as the azimuth axis on this particular scope. Again, they'll kind of vary. The values that I came up with, will, you know, could be very different from what you came up with. So anyhow, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them in the thing below. If you guys are not subscribed, again, please do consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.